Hello Bros Developers and welcome again to this Q&A video. If you want to learn anything about ROS, the contract is your channel. You can learn about ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, ROS for AI. Everything ROS is, related is here, you can find it here. Learn ROS in videos that are like 30 minutes, live classes, 5 minutes, specials. So please check it out. I'm Miguel Ángel Rodríguez and in this video I'm going to answer this Q&A question in uh, Gazebo Answers that states the following. Basically, this user has a problem when he or she tries to, to compile a plugin for Gazebo in ROS. So basically that's the problem. Uh, and Essentially, one of the problems that there is, is that when you launch a plugin in, uh, in Gazebo, sometimes it doesn't give any error, and that could mislead you. So, I'm going to basically do a demonstration of how to do it, and point out some errors that you might have, and I'll continue with more examples, so that the plugin creation in Gazebo for ROS is clear. So before we continue, if you have any doubts about ROS or anything related to it that I've explained, uh, please consider checking out Robot Ignite Academy where you have courses about practically any basic and non, not that basic topics of ROS in, in courses, no installation required, with simulations and you learn by experience. So please check it out. And without further ado, let's get started. So first I'm going to close. Okay. So what I'm going to use is ROS Development Studio, an online platform for ROS development. And I've created already the examples. So you have a Git that I'll post in the comments below, where basically you have all the code that, that I'm going to show here for the people that just want to download it and make it work yeah i'll also post the rosject that you click it and you it will copy my project to your ros development workspace and it will it's a plug and play solution so you have options so let's get started so the first thing to create a plugin it's i highly recommend that you use the ros system by the way, I'll post all the sources where I, I got this information. Basically, it's uh, all the pages of tutorials of Gazebo. They are really well made, so you can go and check it out. So let's have a look first, first on what we have. So the first thing you have to do is a package, okay? And that package has to have minimum ROS Gazebo and ROS CPP. That's the minimum that you need to have. Okay, so how do you create it? Well, you go here, you go to web shell or in your local computer, your shell, you go to your cat in workspace and you do uh, ROS, uh, sorry, catkin create package then ROS CPP and the other dependencies which are uh, sorry uh, gazebo ROS there you go and you have to put the name which I don't know uh, example um, plugins gazebo there you go so now we have our package. As you can see, it's quite bare minimums. So what we need at first is let's let's copy this file, which is simple world plugin. Yeah. If you have a look, it's very simple. You just create a world plugin, and you have a function which is load, which inherits from basically the it's this function is called 
anytime you load a plugin in Gazebo. So essentially what you do here is check that ROD is initialized and then you publish a message. It's the only thing that you do. Yeah. This is not the difficult part. The difficult part is basically the CMake lists and how to use it, but basically the CMake list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the one I have already because it's much simpler. Okay, so let me check that we are using the right one. Okay, so what do you have to change here? Well, we don't need this, and we have to change the num the name of the project. In this case, is example plugins gazebo. Yeah. Okay. Then this is very important. This is something that in the examples in the tutorials it's not stated, and in basically if you compile, it will give you a lot of errors if you don't do this. It's activating the C++11 functionality it's very important otherwise it will give you errors no doubt then this is exactly what you have by by default in the CMake list same here more or less the only things that you have to add is the compilation of your plugin in this case we call it simple world plugin C++ and the name, we are going to give it a different name, for example, I don't know, um, Happy World Plugin, yeah. And this is basically creating Happy World Plugin and then we have to add all the libraries. So here we have to state it also. Also, in the examples, it's they give it the name of the project, which if you have multiple plugins in the same project, it's quite confusing. So here is the name, and then you load all the libraries that you need to compile for Boss and Gazebo. Yeah? Okay. Fair enough. Then, another step that you have to do is, if you go to the package here, see that it's very simple but basically what you need is this it's telling the system where to look for the uh, the plugins that are compiled so if we go here we don't need all this junk Let me, there we go we don't need it to be that complex and now we're going to copy paste this Okay, fair enough. Now you can um, change the email and so on. This is basically the, the important part. Okay, so we have the CMake list, we have the package XML, and then we have the C++. Okay, so let's compile and see what happens. If we have any errors and so on, we can make Great. Now that we have it compiled, if you go here, you can check. Let me just check. You see that we have many plugins just because I've compiled the other plugins of the further when we go further in, in the tutorial. But we have to look for our lib happy world plugin. Okay. This is very important. Okay, now, now that we have our plugin compiled, we have to use it. For that, we're going to create a folder which is um, worlds. Worlds, yeah. Uh, we're going to get this simple world. Okay, which inside you have 
what is essentially the ground, a sun, and this um, simple world plugin, which is loaded for the world in general. World plugins are used for things that you want to access to the world, not for a specific model in particular. Yeah? Like, if, we, if you wanted to do dynamic light changes, for example, it would be a world plugin more than anything else, or just something that you want in general to happen. So, we have this, and now we need a launch file. So, launch, and let's get this one. There we go. It's launching an empty world with simple world, and we have to change the package where we are getting the world. Okay. So now, we go back again, we source, we ROS back profile, we ROS launch, uh, I don't even know how it looks, uh, there we go, example. Example, yeah, it's auto completing, so that's good. Launch, it's launch, and Hello world. It's giving hello world, which it's quite confusing uh, because I want to show you. Let's change the message and say this. This is the tutorial Q and A. Okay, let's compile again. Okay, let's source. We don't need to do this, actually. And so now, once we compiled, let's launch. Mm, example, and launch. Okay, it said hello world again. So why did it happen this? Well, because we didn't change it. So let's let's go here to the world and let's change the name. To change the name, we have to uh, cd devil lib then copy the lib happy world. Oops. There we go. Now we go to the world and we change it. There we go. Okay. Now we go here. Whoops. And we launch it again. Okay, now we have the message that we have changed in our plugin. So yeah, it's working. So answering the question of this user, why doesn't give you any error or fail to load? Yeah. So these are the steps to make this work. But what happens if, for example, the plugin is not compiled or you don't have it, which essentially would be the same thing as putting here a name that it doesn't exist like xxx yeah okay and we launch it again there you have it so one of the problems of gazebo is that when it loads a plugin if it fails it doesn't give you any error in in this cases when when one you don't have the plugin or two you have the plugin but you mm, you didn't change the name here or you misspelled something anything related to the loading of plugins it doesn't give you any error 
So bear that in mind. So this, it, it's very difficult to debug because you don't know why it didn't load. It's because I didn't put the right name. It's because it didn't compile and I don't have it in the devil lib folder. All these things, you have to check it out. Otherwise, it's quite difficult. Okay. So basically, this is the tutorial on video response to this questions and answers. In the second part of this video, I'll talk about uh, how to go further and create more plugins and more functionality for the plugins. Okay? So thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we publish videos every day uh, on ROS related topics. So please check it out. And yeah, that's it. So thank you and see you in the next video. Hasta la próxima.